The most important thing when you put on a new blade, whether it's the Keep It Sharp Woo Wop blade or the T-Outliner blade or the Outliner 2 blade, when you put a new blade onto your clipper, there's three things that is very important. Number one, that blade should be very sharp, it should be adjusted properly, and the tension spring should be adjusted and in the right place for that blade to work properly. You can have a very sharp blade. But if the tension spring is not set properly, you can have a bad cutting blade, even though it's very sharp. 60% of a sharp blade being sharp is the fact that the blade is set right and it's sharp, good. The other 40% is that the tension spring has to be set properly. So when you change the blade, we will show you just what to do. First thing, take the blade, put it on a clipper, center the clipper, the blade to the clipper, and set it properly. It's set, you put your screws in there. Once you put the blade on and you get it set to the where you want it centered properly, you go ahead and tighten up that blade. The next thing is you take the cover, you open the cover. Now you take the cover. Take a look at where the tension spring. Whenever you change a blade, it's always going to change. There is no setting that's perfect for every time you change a blade. Proper tension spring placement is when this ball of the tension spring is sitting above center of the hole in your cutter part of the blade. This is center, this is at the bottom, this is at the top. It should be slightly above center, right in this area here. So, if you take a look at it, you take your screw and you raise it so that it's where you see like a slight moon shape at the top of the hole of your blade. What most people when you see the blade tension spring at the very bottom, that's poor tension spring placement. When you see the spring at the very top, that's poor tension spring placement. You have to make sure that that spring is sitting slightly above center. That's proper tension spring placement. Take a good look at that. Now, how do you know if the tension spring has the proper pressure? The way you check pressure is the first thing you do is you take the screw all the way off. When you take the screw all the way off, this tension spring should naturally sit above the whole and it should be touching the blade. As you can see, it's not sitting above the hole, nor is it touching the blade. So you take a pair of pliers, take this part of the tension spring, you raise it up. Take and then go on this side and raise it up even. Now you see that it's above the hole. It's higher than the hole. This ball is higher than the hole but this ball also have to be touching the blade. So you tape the pliers again and go to the curve part of the tension spring. Stick the pliers under there and just squeeze slightly until it touch the blade. Now you have the tension spring touching the blade and you have the tension spring above the hole. Now you take your screw, you put it back in its place, and you should hear a snap when it drop into the hole. Listen. You twist, 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 twist. See that snap? Once you hear that snap, it has the proper tension spring pressure. Then you take that screw and you twist down until 
you see a slight moon at the top of your ball, the ball, in an opening in the blade. That is proper tension spring pressure and proper tension spring placement. So now you take your cover, put your cover right back on, and one more thing you want to check. Make sure that this part of the cover, the shield guard, does not rest on the ball of your tension spring. Because if it does, if it touches this tension spring when you put your screws in, that means when you turn your clipper on, it's going to rub up against there and then it will slow it down. But what you want to do, if it does that, don't do anything, take a pair of pliers and you just bend it up slightly like that. Once you bend it up, now you can drop it down and it doesn't touch. And now you take and you put your screws back in. And then you tighten up your screws. And now what you have is prop a new blade on, proper tension spring pressure, proper tension spring placement, your blade is set, your blade is adjusted and sharp, and now you can plug up your blade and go to work.